Welcome back to the channel. This, uh, this video was supposed to be all about uh, setting up the Pimax Crystal and Steam to achieve the maximum frame rate with the best possible visual quality and hopefully, hopefully, he said, get close to um, the kind of performance that I was getting in OpenXR. Let's just fire up the... I want to show you something here. Now, what I did was I... Um, I only had two bars on my battery and I wanted to test something else on the Pimax Crystal. I wanted to see if it made any difference to plug a portable power supply like you use on the road to charge your cell phone into the headset through the USB-C port uh, to reduce the discharge. Because I thought, well, I'm going to be away for a couple of hours. Maybe, maybe this will stop it from discharging further and I can still get an hour's video in. So as you can see, though, when I came back, what I did was I plugged the battery in. I started up uh, uh, the Pimax client, got the headset going, started up Flight Sim 2020, and walked away to go have supper with my wife. And when I came back an hour and a half later, after watching some hockey, um, it had gone from two bars to four. So isn't that interesting? So, so much for testing Steam and Flight Sim 2020. This is the next thing I want to test. If it will charge the battery, this little portable charge unit that fits in my shirt pocket, if it'll charge the battery uh, while it's just sitting on the desktop idle, will it then at least reduce the rate of discharge when I'm playing in Flight Sim 2020? So that'll be the next video. That'll be my next test. I'll run the battery down to two bars or maybe even one. And then I'll uh, shut it down for a while, get a rest, because I can't, I can't play Flight Sim 2020 for four hours. But I, I need to work the battery down. And so then probably a few hours later or the next day, tomorrow, whenever, I'll, uh, I'll plug it in again. And from two bars, we'll see how long the headset lasts do I have to quit before the headset gives up power or will the headset give up power before I do when plugged into this portable battery I don't know it's pretty cool though isn't it I did not think that we'd be able to charge the battery in the headset by plugging in an auxiliary power source to the USB port on the side now we know how cool is that well, I guess on a scale of ultimate cool, maybe not that cool, but it's useful. And I, ho I hope it helps you. Thanks for watching and come back for more on this topic soon. Mm -hmm.